Uh, it was a really uh, tough game for us today. Uh, Vanderbilt's a very, very good team. Um, I'm glad they're not in OVC. Uh, it was a great opportunity for us to come over here and play a really good team, a well-coached team. And um, I'm excited about the future of not only Tennessee State, but uh, Vanderbilt as well and, and Nashville basketball all together. It was a great day for the Nashville community to come out. Uh, I feel like we had a really good crowd. Um, I love to see us continue to, to play uh, teams like Vanderbilt and in-state games like Memphis. Uh, we also would like to see some of those teams come to, uh, come to play at Tennessee State. Um, so that was, that's one reason why we, we played the schedule we played and played a lot of teams that's in uh, this area um, and hope to get some of them guys in the Gentry Center soon. How ready are you for OBC play now? So we really don't know. Uh, we, we'd like to think that uh, this schedule that we've played has prepared us, uh, but we'll know for sure once we get into the thick of things when OVC play uh, starts. Uh, we do feel like uh, our, our guys are ready now, um, and uh, we played a schedule that, sh that should have prepared us. So, but you know, well, I, I don't know that until we start playing. Pretty, pretty tough stretch these last four games. Uh, the stretch. The last four games, pretty tough stretch for you guys. Um, no tougher than the first <laughs> six two. Uh, uh, it's been a uh, it's been a really good, um, challenging schedule for our guys. Uh, not only just the games we're playing, the uh, the, uh, the traveling that we've done, and uh, the places that we've been. We played against some well coached teams, but uh, we're hoping that it, it battle tests us, has us battle tested for OVC play. You uh, you guys had the lead for eleven minutes or so early. What what sort of Stop working, or what did Vanderbilt do differently to turn it finally? Um, I don't really think they did anything differently. We just started fouling. Um, we fouled them every single play, and uh, we couldn't stop fouling. That's been a problem of, our, of us all year long. Um, we foul like that and put teams on the free throw line and giving them free opportunities. Um, that was kind of the key to the game to me. Um, in the second half, we just didn't get a stop. Uh, they came out and scored 12 out of, out of the first 13 possessions, and um, that was pretty much the game from there. What kind of problems did uh, Saban Lee present for you guys? Trying to contain him? Oh, he's a very good player. He's athletic. He's strong. Um, he got to the paint uh, really well. And once he gets in the paint, he can go to another level. He's af uh, when you can get there and be in front of him, but he's just athletic enough, and uh, they can jump and finish over uh, contact. And um, he's going to be really good when SEC play starts. Same for you. What did you think of Saban Lee? What did he do well? He obviously had a good game. Uh, I feel like he, he got downhill and uh, got in the, the teeth of our defense. You know, made guys rotate. You know, um, I feel like he's a good player. You know, well, 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 well player for their team. Because not, not every point guard can, as you say, get downhill in that way. A lot mm -hmm. of guys just sit out and distribute. Is yeah. something that he does better than most other point guards? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that he does better. I mean, he does, He did a great job tonight, but uh, I just felt like uh, he, he did a great job getting down here for his team so they can win. How entertaining was this non-conference schedule? Kentucky, Memphis. <coughs> Were you guys excited to, to see how you would do in some of these games? Yeah, yes, I, I feel like we were excited. Uh, we were more, you know, trying to be locked in and tuned in to, you know, scout reports and, you know, detailed things that the coaches and stuff, they were uh, throwing at us. So I feel like that process was more fun than just going to play those guys. You, uh, you disappointed that this thing turned the way it did today after the start you guys got off to? Uh, I mean, of course I'm disappointed in the loss, but, um, I'm 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 pretty happy right now for uh, just us because you know we just came off a, a bad a real bad loss a week ago and to for us to come in here today and play with confidence and make shots and you know what I'm saying distribute the ball and you know our bigs get going and get loose so I feel like you know off that bad stretch and you know until now that we we I feel like we're going in the right direction. Penny, did you learn anything about your team during the night? Yeah, um, with the exception of maybe one game, our guys have never quit. Uh, every game we we play, we've pretty been much in the game, or pretty competitive, and uh, that's one thing I loved about this team from the, since the first day I got the job. The spirit and energy of the team has been phenomenal, and they have a don't quit attitude. And um, so that's that's the thing that I think has impressed me the most. That every game we went into, we've competed and fought and scrapped all the way to the buzzer. How much does the schedule get you guys ready for the OBC? Excuse me, can you ask it again? How much does this non-conference schedule get you guys ready for the OVC? I feel like um, it prepared us. It's going to prepare us all pretty well. You know, we played a lot of tough teams that, you know, do a lot of different things and, you know, play, we play Lipscomb, they kind of play like Belmont. So we kind of, uh, I feel like, I honestly feel that we, we're going to be ready once conference starts. All right, thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you. Oh.